thought that I would get another F30. It's like the Supra. It's like identical to the Supra. It literally sounds like the Supra. Alright, so we are in the new car, and yes, it is an F30, BMW F30 340. And not only is the car Alpine white, which is just my favorite color that they make this car in, but it's also got a red interior. So nice. Ah, this combination is so hard to find. So the only thing I don't really like about the interior is this like booty Amazon steering wheel wrap thing that they have going on but obviously as you guys know we're gonna be changing out pretty much everything on this car this is like the ultimate go fast family sedan we're gonna make this thing super fun all-wheel drive gets up quick with the quickness it gets up so yeah it's like literally the perfect spec to find a 340 in all-wheel drive alpine white red interior pretty much has all of the tech stuff that i want heads up display uh, if you're into all the safety stuff, it's got all the safety stuff. It's got obviously the bigger screen up front. It's got the adaptive LED headlights. Dude, tell me what you guys think. I think it's the car. I think this is like going to be so much fun to build this car. It obviously looks really funny right now because it's very mom mobile, <laughs> being that it's white and stock and just like a goofy stock body F30, but it's set the bones. The bones are so good. This thing moves, yo. Fucking goes. I love it. Oh yeah, and we got a sunner for you, which I like low-key missed. <laughs> I love this car. It's great. I actually can't believe like how clean this is. I bought this thing pretty much sight on scene online. It is super clean though. Like looking at it right now, this car is in really, really good condition. So interesting, it's got like the M Performance front lip with like the paint matched side pieces. Uh, it's got the newer headlights that look really freaking good on these cars. I knew if I was gonna buy this car, dude, it had to have these headlights. Like, I love these headlights. These are also adaptive as well, and they're super clean, just like everything else on this car. I think this car was like owned by an old person, and they just like garage kept it. I don't know, man. Whoever owned it, they did a really good job of taking great care of it, because it's freaking super duper clean. It's got like a really light tint on it, something that I'll probably just keep, honestly. I don't need to have this car super dark. Brakes, wheels, so obviously we have a lot of stuff that we're gonna be changing out on this car, you guys. You have no idea what we're in store, but yo, Alpine white with the red guts. 
These ones are hard to find, bro. This wrap cover thing is super booty. I don't like it, um, but I am getting a custom wheel, obviously. I feel like for the most part, I really don't even need to talk about like all of the things that we're gonna change because you guys already know that this car is gonna completely change. Like none of this stuff is gonna stay the same. And you guys know how quick I work in a matter of weeks. Like this thing is gonna look entirely different. So just like looking at the car and like looking over all of the stuff, um, the only real like wear that I've noticed so far is on the cowl. If you guys remember on this cowl, I had to change mine out on my F30 as well. So that's something that I will be obviously changing out. Everything else looks really good, man. All the trim looks super clean. The, pla the black plastics look really good. Window trim, clean. The paint in general is like in awesome condition. It's obviously rainy out right now, so she's dirty as hell. They just had it on the truck all the way from uh, Georgia. But overall, dude, this thing, once we do a proper detail on this, proper paint correction, and uh, some ceramic, man, this thing is gonna look incredibly good. Like super, super duper clean. Already has the black grills, obviously. This is the uh, M Sport package. So it's got like those M wheels. It's, yeah, I mean, honestly, dude, like this is the perfect spec. It is a 340, it's all wheel drive, Alpine white, red interior. I don't know, man, I think I think we freaking nailed it. And I got super lucky that I found this one, you guys. I'm gonna pop this open and show you guys the best part. I knew if I was gonna do an F30 again, it would have to be the beautiful B58. Familiar at all, guys? <laughs> so we're gonna approach this one the right way. I already know exactly what I'm gonna do, exactly how I'm going to approach it. I'm not trying to make a thousand horsepower with this build. That is definitely not the, the case here. I'm going to build a good street car. So I'm gonna do all of the stuff that I wanna do as far as like performance and styling. It's gonna be a very clean street car. You guys already know my style and how I do shit. I think that you guys are going to enjoy this one. If you enjoyed the previous F30 build, this one is going to be much better. There are a lot of things that I did with that car that I kind of like regretted a little bit. I didn't like love so much. And then a lot of things that I learned along the way, um, even after I got rid of that car and a lot of new parts that have come out for these cars that I want to add onto this car, it's going to be a really, really fun build. But yeah, so with this B58, uh, fueling is gonna be number one. So we're probably gonna do like a Dorch stage two high pressure fuel pump. And then obviously all of the bolt-ons, charge pipe, intake, downpipe, exhaust, uh, the real basic stuff. And then as far as tune, I'm not quite sure what tune route I wanna go with, but I'm keeping it very conservative. I'm not trying to like run this thing to the freaking moon. That's not the point of this car. However, it is all wheel drive. So you know this thing can hook, dude. And I've never owned an all wheel drive BMW. So that's kind of exciting. I get to like venture down a new path. There are some things that are a little bit different when you own an all wheel drive, which would be kind of good because we'll learn about that process. Like when lowering the car or what kind of wheels that you can run or you know, all wheel drive delete, like X drive delete, stuff like that. We'll be going through all that in this, uh, in this build series. So yeah, dude, number one for me when I was buying this car and looking for one is I wanted an untouched 340 and this thing is completely stock. There's no signs that anything was ever taken apart or manipulated or taken off or parts added or anything like that. So for me, it's like the perfect starter car. Like we still have our orange reflectors on it. Like it's very, very stock car, but it's like the perfect stock starting platform 340. So yeah, I'm not gonna drag this video on uh, too much. You guys obviously see the car. We're gonna make a lot of future content on this car. For this video, I just kinda wanted to announce what the new build was and show you guys. I hope a lot of you are as hyped as I am to be back into an F30, uh, let alone a 340 F30. I knew if I was gonna do this chassis again, it had to be the B58 platform. So I actually got this car online. I bought it online in like 10 minutes from Nally BMW, which is in, Georgia. They had this car up for sale. It's got 60,000 miles. They had it up for sale for 28, which is if you know 340s and you know the market, that is a really, really good deal. Now I have been surfing the internet for these cars for quite a while. Every single one that I've found that I've tried to buy has sold out from under me. I almost bought a 340 with like a base model 340. Like it didn't have any of the M stuff and it just, the condition of it didn't look that great. It had the same mileage, same year, and it was the same price as this one. So we ended up getting a much better version with a much better package overall, way more tech for the same price. But the process was super easy. I bought it online in literally like 15 minutes. I saw the car on there, went in, filled out all the paperwork, bought it, done deal. Next day they call me, arrange shipping, and um, yeah, here's a car. So I really don't think I would do a wrap on this car because I love the Alpine White. Like if you know me and you know this channel and you know the cars that I've built, I really like the Alpine White, but I'm not doing like the all white and black theme on this one. I got something 
I got something fire for you guys. I think you're gonna enjoy this build and we're gonna do some crazy shit to this car. Some things that you guys have never seen me do on this channel before, but it's going to be exciting. So anyways, that's it for the video, you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Are you hyped? F30 gang. We're back, baby. We're back, let's go, let's go. It's gonna be sick, dude. I'm super excited. I was kind of trolling all you guys. Like I said, I would never do an F30 again. But in the back of my head, I was like, one day we should probably revisit the F30 and do the 340, because it would be much different than the F30 328 that I did. And now I feel like I have a much better understanding of this platform, this chassis, and the B58. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun, dude. I'm really looking forward to this build, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are too. Anyways, guys, comment down below if you are hyped for the F30 build. I appreciate you guys. I love you. See you in the next one.